Okay, so uh, welcome to the third uh, video of uh, this series. Uh, we're back uh, at exactly the same spot. And before I forgot, uh, before I forget, uh, on the second video at four minutes exactly, I come up to a tree, and um, uh, just before the herbalist hut, the tree before the herbalist hut. At exactly four minutes into the video if you look to your left you'll see a tower and there is um, there is a foe down there it's a golem it's a rock golem and uh, that's one of the foes left uh, to dispatch in this save well, I think you'll want to wait a little while I don't know exactly uh, at what point you're gonna get to kill it and also around that place there's a path if you look closely exactly at four minutes on your left uh, as you're in the video uh, you'll find a path that you can go down to that tower or that new area of the game which is part of uh, returning to and also at 1106 in the second video in the previous video of this one uh, there's a cave on your left which use uh, to uh, have uh, some uh, some ants and um, there's there may be a uh, uh, some a locked uh, area in there that hasn't been cleaned up yet all right uh, so it's lagging time okay it does that every time I load a new game. So let's get rid of the, that lagging thing right away. Okay. Alright. So I saved. Uh, it's good because right here you may die. So let's jump right here. Bing. If you would have jumped a little right of there, you would die. And boom. There we go. Okay. So next tree we can see it's far over there right in front of us oh there, there's also a cave there that might uh, harbor some uh, some more foes it's a uh, cave country around here So next tree maybe a little darker this video may be a little darker than uh, the previous ones because I, I didn't uh, twitch uh, the brightness and contrast because we're during the daytime so that's the next tree If you go that way uh, and hang on to your right, you know, and go underneath that uh, that kind of arch over there, you'll find the uh, the first seeker. And if you keep on going, there's a cave also that may need to be cleaned up. Okay. Um, right now, what I would do, I would use um, a ring that I have in my inventory. Uh, that teleports me to the um, to the pyramid area. This is the ring right here, the ring of the of teleportation to the pyramid architects. But uh, for your um, for your sake, for purpose of this video, I'll go uh, by foot. This, this will have uh, this will mean that I'll have to uh, stop by Sakita pretty soon but we'll make it okay so if you don't have that ring you what you want to do you want to go down this you want to keep on the path further <clears throat> uh, whoops I passed it <laughs> sorry 
before before the the wooden the fence you know and you turn for um for the big pyramid I really don't know where uh Senator gaming got uh this ring from I'll ask him if and if uh, he remembers where he got it from or if when I'll find out where where he got it got it from if I ever find out I'll um I'll post it in the description below. <laughs> okay. So I'll use that ring right away. Right now, it's going to teleport me a little away over there. Right? There we are. Yeah, I was right over there. And here I am now, right here. Okay. So if you have that ring, you backtrack over there, use the ring again, you get back here. And. You go over there. If you don't have the ring, <coughs> <coughs> then it's uh, you either go back to the path, backtrack to the path, or you walk uh, straight through here. And uh, I don't know, uh, on, in case you don't know, on top of this building here, you can find a few goodies. Uh, what you have to do, you have to go to the back, right over there. There's a rock. You climb on the rock, and then you climb to the top of that building and you'll find a few things there so if you decided to if you don't have the ring and decided to backtrack to the to the trail you'll end up right over there and come this way and the next tree is right on the other side of the bridge right there That cave down there, I believe, I'm quite sure, it has been totally cleaned up. Yeah, I'm sure it has. Okay. Bing. Bang. Boom. So, for the next one, there used to be a shadow beast here, but... Uh, there's many ways to dispatch that one. Okay. So to the left of uh, the tent, and the next tree is right in front of us. We can see it right over there. But we're pretty low on life. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go see Sakita. Which is very close over here. I find that at the beginning of the game, if you wanna, if you need to go see Sakita, it's easier to come the way I came. There's, uh, you can avoid the, those goblins, uh, that are there at the beginning of the game and uh, it's, it's quite easy to, to get to Sakita here yeah heal me heal me let me and there it is So uh, when I do these uh, kind of grinding runs, I, I it's uh, I make sure that I don't use anything from my inventory. Otherwise, I would deplete that inventory and I, I wouldn't have anything left. So uh, instead, uh, you know, I don't use anything. I use the the resources that are renewable and. Uh, so my inventory keeps on growing instead of depleting. So we're back on that path. The next tree we decided earlier. <coughs> and we keep going. The 
there's a the rock right up there it's quite easy it's quite easy to get it's quite easy to miss also there's a few interesting plants up there there used to be anyway at least one interesting plant anyway The next tree is right in front of us, in front of uh, the dead harpy end, where our first dice player will be. Phew, it's lagging time. Eh? Next one is on the path to the monastery. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm afraid the, the video will just uh, freeze you know, because of the lag. So the next tree is I have right up here. You, if you climb up these rocks over here, you can get on top of that little building, and there's a few goodies on top of it. And there is also a few goodies on top of the same kind of building in uh, Corinus, where uh, Xardas uh, preed, and uh, not Xardas, but uh, what's his name? Oh uh, man, I don't remember his name. Uh, the guy that preaches and you know, the water mage. In uh, in Corinus, uh, the building is under. Uh, if you if you have access to the upper town, then uh, look around the Lutero, and you'll find a few crates over there. And ab around the crates, you can climb up uh, the wall, and you'll end up on top of the building under which. Uh, the, the water mage uh, preaches and uh, there's a few goodies there also lagging time lagging time lagging time so it's uh, Orlin uh, the first uh, dice player so I'm gonna finish up this uh, video right here it's, that's it 13 minutes on something like that <coughs> so I'm gonna finish up here and I'll start back, uh, I'll start the next video, and uh, I'll be back with you. Take care. Mm -hmm.